Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a wood cleaning test today and I'm going to show you what we're using. I'm going to turn you around. So right here we have oxalic acid and a sodium percarbonate. I got both of these off of Amazon's. I'm going to do about, I think it is six, six to 12 ounces per gallon of the sodium percarbonate and then four to six ounces of the oxalic acid. So my plan today is I'm going to do about 10 ounces and five ounces. That way it's easy math to remember because I'm also going to be doing uh, measurements. So I'm going to see how much square footage I can cover with these as well. I got two, two gallon pump up sprayers. I am going to eventually be switching over to using the X jet to do these, but for right now, for a little bit more control and a little bit more precision, I'm going to be using the pump up sprayers and I have them each marked so I don't get them confused because me being as smart as I am, I didn't think to buy two different color pump-up sprayers. So let's get into it and see what we got going on. Here we have a fence that has never been cleaned. It's about eight years old, and I'm going to be using 10 ounces of sodium percarbonate to one gallon of water and five ounces of oxalic acid to one gallon of water as well. So I went ahead and made my mixes. You want to make these right before you do any type of cleaning so it is nice and fresh. But before we get started with any chemical, we're going to go ahead and thoroughly saturate this wood because we don't want our chemicals to seep, to be absorbed fully into the wood. We just really want to clean the surface. So I'm going to go ahead and get this nice and wet. All right, I'm just using my M5 downstreamer. Uh, I do not have it hooked up to any sort of soap on the other end. So my downstream injector is just going to pull a little bit of air here in just a moment. It is not preferred to do this in direct sunlight, but I am doing it in direct sunlight today for video purposes only. I would generally try and get my wood project out of the sun so that it does not dry so fast. I want to give it a little bit of time to dwell. And as you can see, there is a good bit of growth on this. And that's why we're using the 10 ounces you can go all the way down to six ounces per gallon, probably even five if you don't have a very bad fence or wood project. But this one is pretty grimy. So we're going to hit it with a little bit more strength. All right, so now that this has had a little bit of time to dwell, we're gonna go ahead and give it a, a nice sturdy rinse with a white tip. This is our 40 degree nozzle. Currently we're shooting about 3000 PSI. You really don't wanna get too heavy on this. So I'm gonna back off a little bit more than the foot that is recommended. So I'm gonna go about a foot and a half to try and keep some of the pressure off of the wood. Because again, we're not trying to pressure wash this. We're just trying to knock everything loose. Again, I'm in the sun, which is not ideal, so I'm going to be trying to keep this kind of wet as we go. But so far, it is really doing a great job of changing the wood out, of changing the color here.
I went ahead and added a uh, second application of the sodium percarbonate. This was really, really bad. And when we did hit it with a little bit of pressure, it didn't quite give me the result I want. And instead of increasing the pressure, I just want to do another coat. Give this a little bit of time to dwell and then I'll come back through. I'm going to hit it one more time with the, the 40 degree nozzle and then we're going to apply our oxalic. Well, I want to know from you guys, do you prefer sodium percarbonate or sodium metasilica? I was kind of torn between the two when I started doing wood restoration. So if you guys are using metasilica or sodium percarbonate, let me know which one you prefer in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Alrighty, so we've got our second coat on and rinsed off of the sodium percarbonate. Now it's time for the magic to happen. I'm going to start applying our oxalic acid and that should bring a lot of that wood coloring back to this old eight year wood that's just been sitting out in the sun. All right, let's get it started. Now we're just going to follow it up with a low pressure rinse from our M5 downstream. We're really using no pressure at all. We're just applying water to rinse off the oxalic acid. All right, well, as you can see behind me is a massive improvement. There's definitely some details I missed on this one. Uh, this was really my practice trying with the chemicals. I think I'm gonna definitely go a lot stronger and I'm gonna definitely use the X-Jet next time because a lot of the time it was just applying the chemical 
and then I had to wait for it to dwell. I'd much rather apply the chemical much faster. I think with the X-Jet, I could probably have had this done about 30 minutes less than what I used with the pump-up sprayer. So it's definitely going to be the way that I go. Uh, other than that, I think that the process worked extremely well. Really didn't have to use a lot of high pressure. Uh, my general process used to be uh, sodium hypochlorite, then followed by a 25 degree tip. And that was just absolutely terrible. And it left the wood splintered and frayed. And this being an eight year old fence with never being touched, I think it looks wonderful. Uh, definitely along the crevices, I didn't get, I was, was really just a hurried project, but I think that you can kind of see the difference in the wood behind me. I'm gonna show you a, a before picture in just a moment, but uh, before I let you go, I want you to see the final project product once this has dwelled. If you guys found this helpful at all, just hit that subscribe button and give us a like and also just make sure you're using up all of your chemical when you're doing this because it's really not going to last any longer than what you're doing. Just a few hours and it will be pretty well degraded. So go ahead and make sure that if you need to add an extra coat, just go ahead and add that extra coat because it, you have to use up the chemical anyway. All right, and here is the finished dry product. Still definitely showing some weather, but much, much better than it was.